chemical systems are a lot like this tube filled with water. Right now, the water is at an equilibrium in the tube. When we change the system or disturb it, the system will adjust and reach a new equilibrium. We call the move to a new equilibrium a shift. Le Chatelier's principle states that if a stress is applied to a system in dynamic equilibrium, the system changes in a way that relieves the stress. In the case of the water being added, the water moved from one chamber to another so that there wasn't so much pressure on just one side. Chemical systems work in a similar way. Here's the equation for the balance of carbonic acid, carbon dioxide, and water in the blood. If you increase or decrease the concentration of reactants or products, the reaction will shift to relieve the stress. So if the concentration of carbonic acid is increased, the system will make more products to reduce the amount of reactants to relieve that stress. Similarly, if the concentration of carbonic acid is decreased, the reaction will shift left to create more reactants. The system is in the blood to keep carbonic acid levels in a safe range. When we breathe out carbon dioxide and water, the carbonic acid will shift toward the products and decrease the amount of carbonic acid in the system. Temperature is also a driving force in many reactions. If heat is added, the reaction will shift toward the side that does not have heat. For example, if we add heat to this exothermic reaction, in order to relieve the stress of the added heat, the reaction will shift toward the reactants, making more sulfur dioxide and oxygen, relieving the heat stress. The heat is a product, and you can think of it in a similar fashion as concentration. If heat is removed, the reaction will shift toward the side with heat in the equation. In an endothermic reaction, heat would be a reactant. Now, pressure won't make a difference unless it's in a gas system, where the reactants and products have different numbers of moles. More particles will increase the pressure. For example, this system has 4 moles of gas on the reactant side and 2 moles of gas on the product side. If we increase the pressure, the reaction will have to shift to relieve the pressure by reducing the number of moles, which in this case will mean shifting toward the products because there are fewer moles on the product side in total. If pressure were to decrease, the system would shift toward the reactants to increase the pressure and relieve the stress. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.